Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2022 Good Guys Nashville Nationals, and I came across a very cool 1971 C10 pickup truck I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Mike, what a cool truck, brother. Thanks, Scotty. Appreciate you noticing it out here. This is, uh, it's a debut. Uh, it's the first time I'm being shown here in Nashville. It's a 71 Chevrolet C10. It's riding on uh, custom, uh, the stock frame with all custom ride tech coilover suspension, their tubular control arms. Um, truck rides and handles just great. It's a um, little bit different from some of the builds that we've done in the past. This one looks quite a bit more like a, a restoration than it maybe does a hot rod as far as that goes. We kept a tr traditional big block Chevy, turbo 400 in it. Just kept, you know, just hard to, to duplicate that uh, big block look. Right. under the hood of these these trucks and uh, we just decided to stay with that so uh, cleaned it up kept it simple uh, maybe it's not real showy it's just real clean you know as far as that goes but uh, uh, it's, it's it's a neat and uh, fun driver it even has a wash it fluid reservoir <laughs> <laughs> i'm still tripping hey, on we're that. planning on getting some bugs on no, it no <laughs> i guess yeah windshield wipers and the whole shot i mean big heavy springs no i went i mean yeah folks you don't know but for the first 20 minutes i just stood here going i have to go away mike because this isn't making any sense to me beautiful truck don't get me wrong and i know a lot of people like it but yeah um usually we're, we're accustomed to you taking these things to the next level and this is just a clean driver yeah yeah it was just um a different project for but um, you know I, the the customer's really happy with it, so in the, in the end that's that's what we're after. So, uh, and it, it shows another side of what we're capable of doing. Um, you know, we wrapped her line to bed in it, so he can use it a little bit. You know, what size wheels and tires? Uh, we're running uh, 18s on the front and 20s on the rear. This is a, a brand new wheel by Hot Rod by Boyd's. Um, that we put on here. I, I think the name is uh, Canyon on it. Uh, I believe is the model of it. I, I might be getting that wrong, but uh, and then it's got a, a bronze um, powder coat finish on it, which thought that tied in with the wood grain and the colors, just kind of have some 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 soft, subtle colors and some richness to the wood and stuff. And it thought all that just tied together good. And wrapped in continental tires. Continentals, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I think you left the door handles. You left the wood trim down the side of it. And is that? bottom white too or is that same body color just a reflection uh it's white yeah right. the, um, these these colors are um, again just kind of uh complement their self it's uh got a white cap on it and then and white rocker panels and what's the other color uh that is actually uh subaru uh desert beige um late model subaru color that we come uh, come across that we thought would look really good and just seem to suit the truck and the year model the style of it but everything is everything just well, like 71, right? That's right, yep. Yeah, the only thing we smoothed up, it had another piece of trim above it. Uh, the truck would have, uh, it could have been striped a couple of different ways, and we chose this style of it. It could have had cove that, that could have been a different color, you know, as far as how to break it up. And we took that upper molding, we removed it, we didn't really like it, and uh, just kept the wood grain trim on the bottom. No, I think you nailed it. Like I said, I... Uh, I know it's got your name on it, so it was done nicely. And um, but yeah, you know, I mean, it's kind—it's of, possible. I don't think that. I think people might think this is some kind of cheap build, but it's still. It, it, it can it can get overlooked, and right. uh, you know, uh, unfortunately, on some of what we do, we do make them simple. Sometimes the devil is in the details. You know, you just got to kind of take a minute and look at it and and see uh, what has you been done. On them but, gaps and them lines. Oh yeah, and all that oh stuff. yeah, yeah. They didn't come out that way. I mean, the way that <laughs> bed fits up against that cab. I mean, everything is perfect on it. Like GM would have never made one this nice. But yeah. It turned out. Well, I don't know about perfect but we're proud of it so what power is it mike uh this one's got a big block uh, chevrolet engine in it 402 cubic inch okay and it's yeah, basically a 396 but the the truck's got the 402s okay they yeah, i'm gonna sound like i should sound they made a 402 oh yeah okay. yeah yeah that was the big block that came in the in the, in the trucks okay was this a big block truck to start with it was this okay. was actually a bit factory big block factory air truck oh, what tranny did it have in it a uh, turbo 400 so back then it was an automatic too though. yeah if people are interested in keeping up with you, Mike, what's the best way to do that? Uh, we try to keep uh, most of our stuff current on Facebook. Uh, it's Rudders, R-U-T-T-E-R-Z, Rods, R-O-D-Z. I uh, appreciate uh, anybody that would want to follow us and check out what we got going on in the shop. As always, brother, I appreciate the time. Yeah, thank you, Scotty. Thank, thank you. you. So there you go from the 2022 Good Guys Nashville Nationals and Rudders Rods, a very nice 1971 Chevrolet C10. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya!
Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.